at waters to be greeted by some street lights. Look how bright they are. Yeah, we're making our way down to the station and we're doing a little bit of a walk now on the street. So I give you an idea of what the street's like at night from Fellow Waters. Just give you an idea of the countryside. And the moon is still up there. It's still it's quite it's really dark getting this side, just in, as in you can see it's really dark, right? And this side's quite bright. And this is coming up to what? Um 10 21 and we're in the UK and yeah, uh, you know, here in England. Here in England, it's too bright. Oh, what time's the farm shop open? Oh, that's not all. So have a But yeah, it's, look at that. Look at the nice sunset. It's still there. But in the Fellot Waters, it's dark. I can tell you that. Because they've got streetlights here. It's brightening, brightening the place up a bit. We get to see the station, though. Train station. I got can't miss trains out, guys. <laughs> Part of my video, isn't it? Well, I'm going to show you the train station at night. I'm going to show you... Um, how lovely lit up it is and we have a look at the station we can't go on to the platform it's how dark it is over there see when it's getting no daylight that's how dark it is on the field oh I like the little crossing here the little crossing that goes into Fellet Wars wow interesting we want to be on the other side anyway we might do the other crossing see how dark it is see see how dark it is we might do that route next time. The other one was a bit silly, the golf course. Going in your own, you take it at your risk, really. So you don't want to go too far for a further field, I should say. There's a few idiots in the park. You know what I mean? Oh, especially one fisherman who's a bit, oh, annoying. I'll take, it, I'll take him photo of the scenery, yeah? yeah? Mate, what are you doing, yeah? I'll take your pot my fishing rod. Charge you five, I thought we treat, treat me like an idiot. You know what I mean? So when you're on your own, it's a different story when you're on your own, isn't it, really? Anyway, let's get up here and show you that lovely station. And I hear a train, so I don't know what side it's going to go. But it's pulled in. So I'm staying here till the train's going across the bridge. Because we'll be able to see that up the top. Wait, it's the opposite side. We'll see it Because I can hear it coming in. Well, if he's coming in, it's this side, just realised. Left side of the track. The train's going. I can hear it, just the, the door's just closed. So we should get a picture of a, a video. Picture. A video of a train going across here. So keep looking, guys. You might see some... Here we are. Here it is. Night train. Beautiful, can you get? Okay, so it's under the bridge. I fell up waters. I'm going to show you the train station. There's another crossing. I'm not doing a crossing actually. I don't need to do the crossing. I've done it to the town. I'm going to show you the station. This looks nice at night. Cuts it up. There we are, fell up waters. As you can see, it's a nice station at night. It's very beautiful at night. It's really lovely lit up. Here you can see the London Underground sign just there. Oh, there's another train coming across the bridge. Not bad for tonight, two trains in one. Yeah, it's a nice underground sign there. Let's make our way down there now. We'll continue our route away from the station. Where the trains have just been, because fed up's up that way. I'm working our way into Barking Side, and I'll show you up to. Um, uh, I'm trying to think, I'll show you up to New North Road, where the pub is and all that, which is closed. Just to see how much activity we get during the night. And then we've got houses along here, and see further down, as in the bottom, the town just on to your left. But there's a few shops scattered here where we see what's open anyway. We can get an awesome video of the bus. Yeah. Lovely.
Good parking style at night is the roundabout. You're just showing a library in the main town down there and all the shops. And here's the pub. Coming soon pub. That's going to open. And that's got a few machines opening in there. And something to eat down here. There's a food place we're going to pass. One's like a bar kind of thing. That's a nice picture though. Nice perfect picture. I like the moon, it's got a bit lower. Well, I think it has. Anyway, now the temperature started to rise. About further back there, the temperature is really low, as in it's really cool, as in lovely and icy cold. Now I just noticed, just as I come out towards the roundabout, the temperature just started to rise drastically. <sighs> now I feel the heat again. How weird is that? Freaking out, how weird. The temperature just literally drops and then all of a sudden rises again. Ah, oh, it's freaking mad. It's because I was near the lake and the forest, that's what it is, and all that. What part cars here? Yeah. So if it, it didn't. Oh, I was bought, I was collapsed. This, this has gone past the looks of it. I like flowers. I like flowers outside. And we've got flowers inside. I like that. That is clever. Yeah. These shop. What smells nice? Something actually smells like chicken fried. Oh, oh, there's a kebab across the road. That's why. Oh, it does smell nice though. It actually does smell nice. What I might do is get some fish and chips on the way home next time. <laughs> oh, it does smell nice though. I give you that. I ain't complaining. Oh, some places to eat here. I'm gonna have a little look at their menu actually, so you get an idea of what they got. Check this out, it's a new new place, it's just here. A whole one, a new place that's just opened. And I think I like to check the menu out. It's quite a book. So next time I'm on my walks, I can come back with some lovely food. Yeah, maybe adventure out a bit earlier than normal and come back with some nice food for my mum, give her a surprise. Yeah. Well, it says Ilford, because Barking Side comes under that. It's weird how the borderline works, because as you go further up, I think Ilford cuts in certain bark, because Redbridge, Hainault comes under Ilford. Ilford Court cuts off. It's hard to explain. Ilford cuts off, sort of, I'll show you where it cuts off. It's, it's just funny how it works. And then it comes into Hainault. And then you got Chigwell and all that, and all that, and all that, and all that. Yeah, it's sort of a borderline that cuts on itself. Um, actually, you can walk from one one borough to the next. <laughs> this is mad. We're going to cut onto a borderline that goes if well, Barking Side. I say Ilford. Um, funny now, I didn't say Ilford. It was Barking Side. Um. Ilford stretch is sort of out there somewhere and it comes across it literally just comes across and um, behind Barking um, side um, so, so you can step into Barking side just take them you can step into I sprang it you can step into Hainault Ilford Barking side yeah literally within a couple of minutes it's, it's, it's unbelievable it's the weird how the borderline works because here it cuts across it just it's hard to find it on the map it's weird if you look on the map it's funny how the, the, uh, the line works because it's it, because it says Ilford it's like a IG postcode that's the reason that's the why but what's interesting the postcode that's got the IG some of those postcodes come under Chigwell but during the Ilford area because it's an I for Ilford, but they don't come under Ilford, they come under a different borough and everything else. It's just funny how it's done. Years ago, it did come under Ilford, years ago, because Ilford was a vast, big, Ilford's big, you wouldn't believe how freaking big it was years ago. It's an interesting bit of history to check out. But yeah, but since other boroughs took over, claimed the land and all that, that's how it worked. Things changed. But the postcode has not changed. 
that's remaining the same. That's why it confuses someone sometimes, it confuses people sometimes. You think, oh, I'm in Ilford, no, I'm in Ilford, I'm in Barkingside, no, I'm Barkingside, no, I'm in Haynock. No, you're not in Haynock, you're in Chigwell. It's really, <laughs> it throws people back a bit. That's why they have numbers for the postcodes, so you know exactly where you are and what spot you're in. So it doesn't confuse the postman, the borrower, and everything. Oh. What is that? Funny noise. Right, let's come up to the end, show you the end now. Come to the end of the new road, I'm going to show you. Hold on, it's a bus. I'm going to show you the pub, and then I will. I won't finish the vlog there, I'll finish the vlog at home with a nice cup of cocoa. Here the lovely kebab is open now. It's nice to see things opening up now, it just makes you feel a bit happy. At least I can know I can eat places. I'll peckish on them out. Fish and chip place. I need to show you. I'm going to show you the pub now. Let's see if it's got its lights on. It's not, it's not open yet. It's not officially open. Um, I think it's shut. It's shut, the pub's shut, but they're getting it ready. But they've done something to it, make it look really cool. I'll have to show you. It's the lights and everything, what they've done. You, you'll like it, it's nicely lit up. Look at that. It's a lovely lit up pub there. That night. How beautiful is that? I'm getting a nice picture there. Beautiful, isn't it? 